As a student, you're likely juggling multiple possibilities from attending lectures to completing projects and studying for exams. It can be a challenge to stay on top of everything and every minute saved can be precious. But with the help of technology, you can streamline your workflow and boost your productivity. This is why I'm excited to share with you today three Mac applications that help me stay on top of my studies and help me achieve my goals as a student. These applications have been a game changer for me and I'm confident that they will be just as helpful for you. A common feature in all of them is the ability to use keyboard shortcuts to navigate their interfaces and perform multiple activities on them. This makes them very efficient and fast to use and provides a huge productivity boost. Hey everybody, my name is Christos Pedalotis and I'm a computer science master's student at the University of Amsterdam, currently living in Madrid in Spain. If you're looking to streamline your workflow, perform common tasks quickly, or even keep track of your notes and projects efficiently, then these three Mac applications have got you covered. So without further ado, let's dive into it. First, I want to talk about an application that has changed the approach to the way I navigate the internet and I organize my presence on it. This is the Arc Browser by the browser company and it is a new type of browser that tends to do more than a regular browser. It behaves more like an operating system than a simple browser and it is based on Chromium, the same engine that Google Chrome is built on, which means that you can still download the use your favorite extensions on it. It has a unique look with all the bookmarks called pin tabs here and the regular open tabs appearing on the left sidebar instead of the top as you're probably used to now. The sidebar is also the place where something called your favorites live which are essentially pin tabs with enhanced capabilities like previews and are available anywhere across Arc and quickly accessible by keyboard shortcuts like Command plus 1 and Command plus 2. This sidebar is also collapsable which means you can save space by going full screen and to hide or show the sidebar just use the keyboard shortcut Command plus S. Moreover, Arc allows you to organize your internet environment using something called spaces, which allow you to organize your tabs together into separate workspaces. Useful if you want to group tabs by topic or project so that it helps stay focused and productive by keeping your workspaces more organized and clutter-free. And most importantly, to boost your productivity, shortcuts are baked into every aspect of the browser. Navigating Arc is mainly done using their custom command prompt. Hitting Command T to open the prompt lets you open new tabs, change settings, and interact with other parts of the browser. Other useful shortcuts are Command S to show and hide the sidebar, Command Shift C to copy the URL of the current page, and Control plus the number of the space you want to visit to go to the spaces area. The concepts that the Arc browser introduces are new and unconventional for a browser, so it can take some time to get used to them. But after a while, you realize how powerful it is, resulting to a better internet browsing experience. The next application I want to talk about today is called Raycast, and this is a replacement for macOS's Spotlight feature, which is rather slow and many times unable to find what I'm searching for. By default, to open the Raycast search box, you have to press Option plus spacebar on your keyboard, after which you can start typing what you're looking for. And in my experience, Raycast is way faster and more accurate at providing the right results than Spotlight, thus making it easy for me to open and work on exactly what I want, saving me valuable seconds every time I'm searching for something on my computer. And it can be used to look for applications installed on your system, search for files, and even search the internet using, for example, Google. With file searching being quick and very accurate, making it easy for me to find exactly what I'm looking for. This can be very valuable for us students that store a huge amount of documents on our computers, and it can be difficult to find the one that we want. A big feature of Raycast is the integration of extensions into it, and there is a dedicated marketplace in which you can browse extensions that enable you to perform various actions using just the Raycast command prompt. You can also set aliases for applications that you use or actions that you perform often with Raycast and also custom shortcuts that perform specific actions. For example, I have set the keyboard shortcut option plus F to open file search and option plus G to open Google search on Raycast. The third application that is integral to my studying system and my student life in general is Notion. Notion is an advanced note-taking application that helps users create and organize notes to do lists and project plans. It is an online all-in-one productivity tool that enables action and team collaboration and many people use it also to plan their personal lives. It is built on the idea of blocks of content that can be connected or structured in a way to create the desired customizable final product. These blocks can take the form of text, code, databases and so much more. One can even build a website with Notion in an easy and customizable way. It is so powerful that many people use it to build systems 
to organize their daily lives or even run entire businesses on it. The experience is enhanced by the numerous templates that Notion and third parties create and share on the dedicated templates page, which can fast track your planning process and provide you with systems that supercharge your productivity. It is also widely used by popular figures in the productivity world like Ali Abdal and Thomas Frank, who use Notion to run their personal lives, their YouTube channels and their businesses. Notion has been part of my study tools arsenal for many years now and in it I have developed a simple system that works for me. I organize my notes on a per year and per course basis. This is nothing fancy and I just put all my notes under a page with the name of the course or the topic that is discussed each time. So for example, if we go to period 3 of my first year at the master's degree, uh, you can see I took a course called Software Organization and within it um, I have all my notes for this uh, course. So you can see at the top that I have some useful terminology that helped me understand certain concepts uh, that I had to go through and learn in this uh, course. And below that I have created a section for each of the lectures in a folding block of content. So if we look into lecture four, which is about storage and states of set, we can see there are four different concepts to discuss in this lecture, which are then explained further, going into detail for each one of them. The fact that I can use and combine different types of text and media makes it easy for me to create notes the way I want them in an efficient way. Notion is also useful for projects that require collaboration as it allows you to create and organize documents that would otherwise span multiple applications, such as simple Word documents, spreadsheets, and documentation pages. Shortcuts are baked into Notion too. Typing a forward slash at any point in a page allows you to quickly create a new block of content by selecting from a list of possible options. You can use Command plus N to quickly create a new page or Command plus P to search for a specific page or word in a page. You can also use Command plus T to open a new tab in Notion, which allows you to multitask more effectively as you can now change between multiple pages that are open at the same time. Notion offers many plans and one of them is free which is enough for you to use to build your study system and keep track of your notes and projects. I've never had to pay for Notion and I've been using it extensively for many years now. But if you need more options than the ones offered by the standard version, then there are plans that offer more features that can be useful in case you work with small groups of people or big businesses. But as a student, this is probably an overkill. It is worth mentioning that recently, Notion introduced their own AI which can be used in line with Notion. Notion AI is similar to ChatGPT with the advantage that you don't have to switch to a browser every time you want to make a query to it. However, it comes with a subscription plan, which means that you have to pay for it and currently I don't see the need for that for me, so I've stuck with just using ChatGPT online. Notion is the only application that I've discussed today that is available both on Mac and Windows computers and is also available for Android and iOS devices as well. So there you have guys, incorporating these three Mac applications into your workflow can work wonders for you and boost your productivity as a student. The Arc Browser will revolutionize the way you think about the browser and allow you to do more, while Raycast will enable you to do things faster and more accurately. Finally, Notion is very powerful and is the best place to keep your study notes and so much more. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below in the description section and I will do my best to come back to them. And if there are some other applications that you love and that have helped you be more productive as a student, I would love to hear about them as well. If you like this video, then you will probably like my latest upload, which you can find right here. Don't forget to smash the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.